The nation's largest retailers is taking steps to end the opioid crisis. But we're very excited that Walmart is helping to educate the public about safe medicine disposal. Today, Walmart announced a new way to dispose of unwanted prescription drugs. Now patients can safely throw away their unused pills at home. New tonight, CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in West Sacramento to show us how it works. Macy? Well, Christina and Tony, the entire idea is to give patients an easier way of getting rid of their drugs. And it's free for all customers with an opioid prescription at more than 4,000 Walmarts across the country. Millions of prescription drugs fall into the wrong hands every year. The National Survey on Drug Use and Health found that 50% of people who abuse opioids get them from friends and family. Now, Walmart has a solution. This packet from Dispose RX, free for any customer filling a prescription for a class 2 opioid like morphine or oxycotton. Once a patient is done with their medication, they'll simply dump the contents of the Dispose RX packet into their pill bottle with warm water, shake it for about 30 seconds. Within 10 minutes, the contents turn into a gel, neutralizing the drugs. It's safe, it's convenient, and it's a responsible way that our patients can get rid of their leftover medication without ever leaving their home. Heidi Sanborn is the executive. Executive director for the California Product Stewardship Council, a nonprofit dedicated to making sure drugs are properly destroyed. People just don't know what to do. They flush them, which gets into our water. They throw them in the trash, which is insecure. Or they simply leave them out where children or teenagers can find them. We think it's wonderful that Walmart cares enough to actually do something about this. But Sanborn says her concern is whether or not it's safe for the environment to throw the gel like mix straight into the trash. Walmart says yes, describing the material as non toxic, biodegradable, and safe if accidentally ingested. But for people who don't fill their prescriptions at Walmart, Sanborn recommends finding a drug take. Back bin. Not only will the pills be incinerated, but the bottles will get recycled too. Uh, we just want to, you know, make sure that we have enough options for all the different medications out there. Sanborn says an issue the nonprofit continues to face is a lack of these drug take back bins. In Sacramento County, there are 700 pharmacies, but only 13 of them will take the drugs back. It's an interesting concept, that's for sure. Macy Jenkins in West Sacramento. Macy, thanks.